Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Even though, compared to what it was a year ago, I have literally cut down on the amount of work I've done on this channel uh, by 90% on most days. Shoot, last week it was 100%. I, uh, I still appreciate that people reach out to me and send screenshots and send uh, highlights of their luck. Because when you think about all the different microtransactions that are involved in the game right now, and this is just in the unit store, not even counting the Kabam website, uh, from the Devil Track events to the new weekly Paragon Nexus Crystal to the new team bundles to the Relic bundles to the daily specials. You used to go here and it would just be this. It would just be units. And now it feels like you will always have a reason to spend money, which, I mean, makes sense in terms of the Kabam uh, goal to make a profit on this for-profit game, but it exhausts players to the point of really having to chase these great amounts of luck in order to justify, um, well, for lack of a better word, the money. If you, if you want to justify the money you spend, you have to pull luck. And right now, it doesn't feel like that's happening on the scale that Kabam wants it to. And remember the, the good old days where you would have huge breaks of saving up money. Like I knew if I saved up, and it, it, sometimes it could take months, right? But like, let's say $800. That when July 4th hit or Cyber Weekend hit, I could buy up all the offers. I could grade all the offers and maybe make a little bit of money back on the offer grades versus the revenue what those videos would do and i would have time to breathe and it would get exciting like i'd look and i literally think oh my gosh we're two months away from july 4th offers we're one month away we're two weeks away now these whale well holidays happen every two months it seems because spring cleaning is coming up in the next month which is the big uh whale well holiday in april before the last whale well holiday in february before the whale well holiday of gifting and gifting is a back-to-back -back holiday. Really, it's two whale holidays in, in one month, which was always kind of a big ask. But you could spend units on greater gifting crystals or greater banquet crystals or whatever we're going to call them this year. Probably greater banquet crystals. They'll probably stick to that and try to get some, some branding off of it. But, you know, in general, I just have to sit here and say, without the old schedule, this feels almost like the equivalent of my puns there's too many to process and not enough time to process them and if you don't process them you don't enjoy them if you don't enjoy them you get tuned out you get tuned out you're not buying what i'm selling or in this case what the game is selling and i'm sure there are people who are going to buy this but right now the amount of offers in the game is astounding Right now, the amount of offers in the game is astounding because Kabam is trying to make as much money off of this game as they can. But for anybody who says it's not in the decline, I think you're just ignoring the writing on the wall. And I'm not saying this because I want this game to go away in 2024. And I'm not saying this because I think the game's going to go away in 2024. But it's just such stale content for the most part. And then when it's not stale content, they are trying to milk the, whale, the whales. <laughs> I said wares, which is not a thing. You're trying to milk the whales. And instead of like milking them every six months, you're trying to milk them every day plus every two months. And now that we have also like recurring double tracks, it's just, it's almost like Kabam knows so many people have walked away from the game that the people who've stayed around, we got to squeeze them. We got to wring out the towel, get all the water out, and let that moisture drip into the bank account of our company. And I'm sure that's the strategy that a lot of companies do when the game that they've been around for close to a decade starts to get stale. And Kabam's tried to keep it fresh. They're trying to do stuff like the Alliance War solo missions and obviously Winter of Woe and the next Act 8's around the corner. This game, I thought, maybe had five years in it. Well, it's gone way longer than that. So every day that it... It's here is kind of like a surprise bonus. But at the same time, if Kabam wants people like myself even, who have some disposable income to spend, unless you're going to give me 
more motivation to not buy the daily special. I'm just going to look at this Valiant Team Builder bundle or uh, even like the Paragon Astonishing Packs. I'm just going to look at all this and think, I'm good, not getting it. I'm, I'm good. And so you're trying to incentivize spenders to spend more and in the process, you're actually creating more free-to-play players or low spenders, which is of course not Kabam's goal. I also think it's because they've identified a percentage of their players don't spend it on the game. They just run their servers and that's why Kabam Jack's couple weeks back said that the time that players give to the company is no longer valuable to them if you can't commoditize that with something that's going to help keep kabam jacks salary for instance uh, i'm assuming he's not hourly then what good are you that's basically what it is so the amount of offers in the game now is astounding that's my takeaway thanks for watching have a good one